Hey guys, Tech Flash here. So with Apple's underwhelming release of the iPhone 13, I've started to see more and more people both around me and on the internet saying that they are now hoping the Pixel 6 will bring something that will be worth buying. Now there have been a couple of more leaks on the Pixel 6 but before we get into that I want to quickly recap what we are getting or at least expected to get on the Pixel 6 and the 6 Pro. Starting with the 6, we know that this will be the budget one or the not so pro model amongst both. The Pixel 6 will have a 6.4 inch OLED display which will have 120Hz fast refresh rate, although we don't know if this will be adapted for power saving purposes. On the camera side of things, we are getting a dual camera on the back with a 50 megapixel wide angle alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle as well. The front will have an 8 megapixel camera that will be able to record in 4K. We're expecting at least 8 gigs of RAM alongside 128 gigs of internal storage. The battery is expected to be around 4600 milliamperes, which should support 18 watt fast charging. Power wise, we are expecting the Tensor chip, which will be Google's first attempt at a custom silicon, although the exact specifications of the chip are unknown. Price wise, we can expect it to be anywhere between $650 to $700. For the Pixel 6 Pro, we will have a 6.7 inch AMOLED display, which will be curved and will also support. 120 hertz refresh rate again no word if this will be adaptive or not on the back we will have a triple camera setup with a 50 megapixel wide angle a 48 megapixel telephoto lens and a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera the front will have a 12 megapixel camera and again will be capable of 4k video resolution the 6 pro will come with 12 gigs of ram and a choice of 128 256 or 512 gigs of internal storage the battery will have 5000 milliamperes which again will support at least 18 and maybe even 25 watts of fast charging. It will also be powered by the same Tensor chip. As for the price, the 6 Pro can be expected anywhere between $800 to $900. Both the Pixel 6 and the 6 Pro will also be running on the latest Android 12. Now back to the new updates and the first thing is Active Edge. Initially, rumors claimed that Active Edge was coming back to the Pixel 6, but lately it looks like that won't be true. Based on a tweet about the fabric cases, it looked like Active Edge was going to be a thing, but then later XTA's Michal Rahman pointed out it may just be a placeholder and this may not be of the specs for the Pixel 6. However, new gesture controls have been confirmed where you can double tap the back of the phone to launch the assistant or even customize it to a feature of your own choice. Some display options were also seen which confirmed the smooth display and a fast refresh rate of 120 hertz but by the looks of it it seems like this will not be adaptive or variable for battery savings battery share was also confirmed on the pixel 6 but there are no confirmed details on what charge speed it will support apart from this an ultra wide band chip has also been confirmed for a while now news of the pixel 6 supporting ultra wide band was first reported on by xda's michelle rahman back in april at google's IO 2021, Google announced digital car key support in Android 12 and said that the feature would be coming very soon. This automatically took our minds to the Pixel 6 and furthermore, it was announced that digital car key will be supported in Android 12. So if you do have a newer car, you will be able to unlock it with your Google Pixel 6 phone. Next up, we have some big news about the Tensor chip and a bit of a sneak peek on the performance that we can expect from it after it appeared on Geekbench. The CPU setup we saw for the 6 Pro has two cores at 2.8 gigahertz two cores at 2.25 gigahertz and four efficiency cores running at 1.8 gigahertz when it comes to the scores they were not very high at first sight the single core scored just 414 and the multi-score was at about 2074 which if you compare are similar results to what we saw on the snapdragon 845 now this begs the question whether it will be faster than the snapdragon 888 considering that it is their first chip there are a lot of high hopes as well as low hopes for people that think Google may not do such a great job with their first custom silicone. But this is an early benchmark so we know that the scores will get much better than this. The only question is by when. Considering that the Pixel 6 gets launched next month, the scores may not take a very big leap. Due to this, a lot of people are thinking that Google may release a variant of the Pixel 6 with a lower performance rate just to keep the cost down, but a lot of people were in high hopes of receiving a flagship Pixel with a highly powerful chip. But by looking at Google's history, they have had some success by launching a cheaper phone with an average chip. As for the launch, we are expecting the Google Pixel 6 to be announced on the 19th of October, which is just over a month away now. Anyways guys, that's
that is it for the video this was your daily dose of tech on the google pixel 6 let me know what you guys think of this device are you eagerly waiting for this or would you rather go ahead and buy something like the iphone 13 let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed the video please drop a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already thank you once again for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out